Good morning. We're picking sweet corn again. My fourth planting is pretty well ready. And so I'm picking through that. We've got quite a bit in there that we're going to take over to the neighbors and they can sell it. Um, I didn't get as much out of here as we did the last stuff. When, uh, when I picked through there, I wanted to mow that. So I took my fence down and I just never got around to putting it back up. And turns out we got some coon damage. Who would have thought? Um, so we lost a little bit there, but there's still quite a bit. I left a couple of rows for us to have over the weekend here and uh, we're gonna deliver the rest of this stuff. dropped dad off at the tractor and chisel he had a little bit he wanted to do on the other side there uh, before we brought the tractor back but uh, not much so he's gonna work on that and then bring it back to the farm because we are gonna use it to work in some chicken litter today okay I took dad to that tractor I dropped off the sweet corn we need to adjust the track on our 8rx again we're gonna try and get this alignment better so uh, we'll do that and then hopefully dad will be back and we can go get the chisel running and Brock will be here in a little bit We can get him started running on that and then I have more other things to do We'll talk about it. All right, so we talked about this yesterday a little bit, but essentially our track is running too close to this inside idler And it's rubbing on all of these So we need it to push over which means we need to pivot these front wheels a little bit and uh, The way that you do that is with this adjustment bolt. It says in the book to Loosen the one that you want it to move away from one turn. So that'd be this one and then tighten the other side and it kind of pivots these front idler wheels a little bit. So uh, we made one adjustment yesterday. We're going to make another adjustment right now. Ugh. Half a turn. There's one turn. Now this one I should be able to turn tighter. And I don't think you can see or hear anything, but it's moving it. There's a half. Got it. And then we put our plate back on to lock it in place. We might have to tweak that one just a little bit to get it to line up. All right. Dad's back. So I think we're going to fuel that tractor up and then take it to the field and go get started with it. Um, what we've got left to disc, they have not gotten spread yet, so we've got to wait a little while on that. So it'll be uh, be this af excuse me be this afternoon before we can get to it. Um, but we can go and do the chiseling in the field that we are going to chisel. All right, all right. We got a dad hates this tractor, so he runs it in manual. So hit full auto. So that it'll idle itself down and run like I'm used to it. Oh, there's Brock right there. We're going to head back to the field though. He can find a way to get it back there. Okay, we're heading back to this back field here where we had wheat. Um, you can really see our beans here starting to lighten up. They're turning. Those are our early maturing beans, so probably where we'll start combining. Dad still wants to be able to come back here and work along these trees, uh, trimming them back a little bit, so he asked me to leave some area around it, and since Brock's going to be running this, I am um, kind of putting a boundary in. I'm going to tell him don't go closer to the trees than what I did, and we're going to do the same thing on the other end of the field over there. But uh, yeah, this, this is going to work all right. Um, I need my weights back. I'm spinning a lot. 18... 19%, 20%. The uh, ground's wet, so that should get better as it dries out. But uh, yeah, it's. I need my weights. There's the chicken litter guys getting their stuff. I assume they're done here, but we're going to stop and talk to them. Look at that fancy, nice fuel trailer. Man, could I use one of those? Dang. All right. They are done in this field. I wanted to make sure because I wasn't. I wasn't sure after they uh, weren't done yesterday, um, but they are, so they're going to move on to the last couple of fields that we've got for them to do, and Brock is going to sit here and chisel all Same day. It's going to take a while. This is going to be a long, slow process. We're going to burn lots of fuel, but we're going to have fun doing it, right? I love, I love it. I love yeah. primary tillage. So, um, 
We're, we're trying to run six. We're getting four to five, five and a half sometimes. Depends on how hard the ground is. You can cheat it up just a little bit to make it pull a little better, but we don't want to go too shallow here. So uh, this tillage tool is different than our 2730 Ripper. Um, our shanks are on 15 inch spacings instead of 24 inch spacings. But because of that, we don't need to go quite as deep. And so we're shooting for six, maybe eight inches deep at the absolute most here. Um, where with that ripper, you're eight inches minimum up to 12 in our soil. Sometimes, yeah, it's rare that we even go that deep. But um, but you can see it's doing a nice job. It's breaking stuff up. It's leveling. It's Dad's leveler does a really nice job, actually, compared to what this tool used to be done used for. So... Um, yeah, this was our primary tillage tool for almost 15 years. This is what we did instead of running a ripper. So I, I have no problem running this. I'll show you when I get out here, but um, our weeds are dying. So Dad sprayed these a day and a half ago, uh, two days ago in the afternoon. But uh, they're they're looking a little wilty. So we're they're gonna die, and we're gonna. We're going to chisel them under anyway. You'll also note right over here we've got uh, some beans growing. This is the field where I planted out what was in the planter um, just to get it empty kind of thing. We made like two rounds out here. And, well, there's a strip there that's got some decent looking beans, but it is not worth harvesting or messing with them. We're going to work them under and use them as a cover crop. Well, I was just going a couple of rounds here just to make sure everything's going to work like we think it is. And yeah, I think it'll get better once the dew gets off the plants and we're not quite so slippery. We could we could add some rear weights um, that would give you a little bit better, give us a little bit better traction. But it's it's all right. We're not. It's not that bad. And we're not doing that much. We're just doing this one 75 acre field, and so uh, we'll deal with it. But. Yeah, working it up nice, so when we get back up to the truck over there, I'm going to turn it over to Brock, and, and we have another project to go and work on. Well, I have done almost three and a half acres. It's only going to take Brock another, oh, nine hours to finish this field, so, you know, you have fun with that, and uh, I'm out of here. It is doing a nice job breaking stuff up, getting sod broken up. Loose, nice loose dirt here. We'll watch him as he takes off, see if he stalls our tractor out. Just about. It's pulling hard. You can see the tires spinning and slipping there. This blade's cut up the residue, and then the ripper or the uh, chisel shanks. I mean, there's it's chaos, dirt flying everywhere. But that's what we want. We want it to break apart, mix and level, and there's twisted shovels so that it breaks. Uh, or it, it kind of throws it to one side or the other to help bury and um, get that residue and the chicken litter worked under. So have fun, Brock. I should have given him a camera. I didn't. Sorry. Maybe he'll film something. Maybe he won't. Who knows? But anyway, I now have to go to Berkey. Um, they're coming to set our burner today. I showed you that earlier this week. I didn't realize it was going to happen so quickly, but uh, yeah, they're... They're going to come and take the old one down and put the new one up there. And uh, Phil has asked me to come down and help and be there for it. So we have to go and do that. And then when we get back, we jump in the 8RX and we go disc. Busy day. All right, we've made it. That burner has to go up there. And the old one has to come down. Phil got our guide cable up out of the way, so that's good. And... Uh, I don't know, looks to me like they can just hook on to these holes right here. Lift this whole thing down. Appears we have just a couple of bolts. Holding it. Did he take the rest out? Yep. This should be fairly simple and straightforward, I think. All the wiring is disconnected. Gas line's disconnected. It's loose and free. It just needs to get lifted down. So we'll wait for him to get here with the crane. Here's the new one. That we're gonna set up there. They should work. Oh, that is a fancy new crane. Look at this thing. Well, I don't know how the filming's gonna go here, but there's a crane, there's a dryer fan that needs to come down, and there's one that needs to go up. So let's see how this goes here.
he ain't messing around. Like, we hook that thing up and it just go. Go, gotta go, gotta go. That fan is up there, burner. Uh, the next piece is getting it wired up and stuff, and we're gonna go into this panel. This is our three-phase panel. See the three hot leads there coming off of our generator. So we've gotta get a breaker and get some conduit run and wires pulled to it. So maybe next week. All right, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. It's almost 12.30, and then we gotta get back because I got somebody coming to look at some stuff. Some junk is what it is. We're looking at some junk. And uh, we got this going to do. We got to keep moving. I'm telling you, it's junk. We're looking at junk today. More um, old junk. We have some, a couple of old uh, Alice Chalmers pull type combines that are, oh, spider web. Oh, oh, gross. Sitting back here in the woods that they're in, they're in rough shape, but somebody wanted to look at them. So I brought them to look at them. They've, um, they've been there a little while. The tree is, is eating it. Quick check in on Brock. He's got maybe a little more than half of this field done. He's, he's making progress. It looks good. Chisel's doing a good job. It's level. Drag, dance, drag works. I'm happy with that. He's right back where we started. That's pretty much where we left him this morning. He just worked the other way. All right, good deal, but we gotta go, we gotta go jump in an 8RX. Okay, we're back here. Um, I also had somebody stop at my seed warehouse I had to chat with for a little bit. I had a seed customer, or a seed treatment customer, drop off some uh, beans, or not beans, jeez, oh, Pete, come on, focus. Seed treatment customer dropped off a wagon with wheat in it that I need to treat. So that's sitting down there. We've got to get that put inside tonight. Uh, we aren't going to get to treatment today. But maybe over the weekend sometime or Monday or I don't know. We'll get it fired up and get his wagon a week treated for him. But for now, we get to go drive an 8RX. And that makes me happy. So, off we go to do some disking of some wheat stubble. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So this is the field where they're putting that tile across. They're just about done. I'm gonna see if I can't sneak around the backside and get past them here, or if they've got a crossing somewhere. They were leaving the trench open and I, I need to get to the other side of it. So I'd rather do in the back before the front, but we need to see where we can get across. All right, well, we managed to sneak by them on the end of the field there. And uh, they said they've got it backfilled over by the ditch that we can get across to get out. So we should be in good shape. We're gonna work this down here 
We got all our tile lines that we put in back here in this corner. We'll go across those. Dad's worked them down with that chisel, but we'll hit them again with this. They're going to settle over the next year or two. It is what it is. Uh, but the smoother we can make them for next spring, the better. Let's just say that. They are not fun to bounce across in a sprayer. Although, it's just the ones on the angle over there. Those other ones go with the rows. They won't be so bad. You guys think we should use our Midland radios to check in on Brock? Hey Brock, you got a copy? Yep. How are we doing over there? It's going pretty good. A little slow to how wide it is, but we're going. Yeah, you're bored yet? I mean, not really. It's pretty mind numbing, but it's got to get done, and it's a lot better than putting outside. Yeah, I suppose. Are your uh, are your points worn out yet? He hasn't been watching them. I think they've got some life left in them. All right, the uh, left rear one was the worst when I looked this morning. You still gotta go at full, right? I don't know why. Or a little after. Alright, well, do what you can then. Take it up in parts. Sounds good. Okay, when are you coming back next week? Is he coming back next week? He's gotta pull his phone out and check his schedule. Okay, sounds good. Let's see, uh, let's see where we're at. Alright, I'll talk to you. Alright. We've got a few rocks down here to get picked up. There's one there. Another one over there that I saw. Yeah, there's there's a few rocks. I um just kicked it into neutral real quick. I wanted to get out and check and see how our alignment's doing on our track. I brought the tools, we can adjust it here if we need to. Still off of this inside. Yeah. Yeah, still too tight. We're gonna go some more. Let's adjust it now. We might as well get this right while we're in the field here. There's another rock. We'll try that. We went another round on the adjustment bolts. I don't know. I gotta be gaining on it. Eventually we'll overcorrect and then we can meet back in the middle. That'd be fine. I just wanna see some movement out of it and for it to not be rubbing on the same side it has been the whole time. I haven't been running for that long, but it was not nearly as hot on the inside, the side that's rubbing uh, now as it had been uh, yesterday when I noticed it. So our adjustments are helping. We just haven't gone far enough yet, I think. Brock's calling me. Good deal. I can actually hear you pretty clear, too. All right. Well, this is, I mean, there's one field farther in this direction, but just by a little bit. This is the main one that I was hoping we would get to. So he's in the green shed just testing the new uh, radio out. Yep. Seems like it's darn good here. Excellent. Well, when we get in different directions, we should uh, do some more testing, but that's good to know from here. So we're on. Cool. Yep, see yep. We are only about three and a half miles, so we're not that far. Um, but like I said on the radio there, that we just we've got one other field that's a half mile that way, but as good a communication as we had, that one should be no problem. Uh, but that's kind of shooting the gap between our pit, between the bins to get to this direction. When we go straight north, we've got to go around or through the bins, which obviously they're not going through them, so... Um, We'll see when we get up that way and uh, test our comps that up there. Well, they made it to the property line, got their tile in. Good for them. Okay, uh, time for today's very, very important announcement. Happy birthday, Mom. Today's my mom's birthday. 
she apparently is mad at me for not saying anything in yesterday's video, which was not her birthday, but it came out today, so I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Yesterday also happened to be my parents' anniversary, so happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Yeah, I should have said that one yesterday. Sorry. Wish her a happy birthday, everybody. Thank you. We've moved quite a ways along across this field. They're uh, backfilling their trench now, using their dozer to push it all in. Uh, we're going to get out and check our track again and uh, just see how it, how it looks compared to what we were before and probably make another adjustment, to be honest. So we can get up here to the end, and without steering or doing anything, we're just going to hit the neutral button, let it coast to a stop, and get out and see what we got. They're, uh, they're not untouchable hot like they were yesterday, but they're still warm, and I can't get my shim in there. So we're still too tight. we still got to move it over. Let's make another adjustment. He's getting there. All right, so we are getting towards the end. I've got everything that way done. I had been kind of crossing this after they filled it in some, but they didn't fill it all in all the way, and there's a big gap there now, so... I'm not going to cross anymore, plus we've got some rocks that need to get picked up and stuff. So, uh, yeah, these are stupid short rounds. Uh, so we're going to just start going across the rows, and we're just going to finish this little bit up in the front here. Maybe go on the other side and make a round or two. It's not critical that we cover everything, really. We're just trying to work in that litter as best we can. So, um, yeah, we're about done here. Yeah, you can see there's still a trench through a lot of this. That's fine. They'll, uh, they'll get it yet, I'm sure, but I think they got all the tile in at least, so now it's just a matter of getting it back filled. They um, typically like to leave stuff open to settle anyway, so I'm not surprised by that. That's fine. We'll get there. All right, well, that wraps up down here. This little spot is what Dad was chiseling this morning when I dropped him off to get the tractor down here. So, can't see nothing that way because it's dusty. But we're done here. It is almost 6.30, so we're going to call it a night. We've got 40 acres or 46 acres on the other side of the ditch that needs to be done, but not going to happen tonight. So we're just about done with the disc, and I don't know how far Brock made it, but we've got some chiseling to do yet. Um, but then we'll be, be done with tillage for, for a couple weeks. I was going to leave the tractor at the field here and have Dad come pick me up because the other field is right next door and no reason to road at home sit outside there anyway what difference does it make but he didn't answer his phone so we're gonna drive it home can you hear that dad's mowing lawn be why he didn't answer he's been uh working on his little pavilion now we're calling it needed needed some refinish oh he painted i see all right he's yeah yeah his project happy birthday mom so in your video you're like, we're doing this tomorrow and we're doing that tomorrow and oh yeah there's something else what is it my mom's, mom's birthday. birthday see i knew there was something else <laughs> so i was just driving home well kind of i got a wagon of wheat i gotta put away over there by the seed warehouse but i'm driving past my tree my only tree it's been here right along the road anybody know what this thing is this was not here yesterday it says Wes one W E S one I witness. What is it? Survey marker. There's property line survey post somewhere right in here. I think there's a pin in there somewhere. Uh huh. All right. Let's see if I can pull this in far enough to get it somewhat lined up with the uh, auger or the conveyor. We're not treating wheat tonight, but it's gonna have to happen soon. Well, not a prime primary concern at the moment. I gotta get it a little bit closer. We're gonna have to make a hole in a fork on my forklift so I can use that to move wagons around because the truck's just not maneuverable enough. And we might have to move everything over. I, I kind of kept it this way because I thought that might work better, but I think I'm thinking otherwise now. So, oh yeah, full way. Cool, all right, let's be done. Have a good weekend, everybody. I don't, yeah, I'll probably make a video tomorrow. I shouldn't, I don't want to, but I probably will because, well, we've got more discing to do. Let's finish that up. Dad's gonna finish chiseling. I got spraying to do, um, stuff around the house that we can work on. So I have plenty to do to justify 
making a video. So we'll see. But anyway, have a great weekend and uh, go Sparties tonight. Go green. And by the time you guys are watching this, go Bucks.